Dear beloveds, we are gathered here to celebrate the life and times of this intelligent, brilliant, bold, beautiful, sassy, and sexy lady. Wondering why I'm wearing black? Today we are talking about fin rolls. And fin rolls are a big deal in Ghana. People show up dressing all black but still looking fancy. You might get dancers like this guys or you might get a coffin that looks something like that. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the vlog. My name is Andira Oganga. We are here at Fantasy Coffins in Teshie to talk to them about the journey of making Fantasy Coffins. So stick around. I'm Lord Insanan, the grandson of Kanikwe. And you are at Kanikwe Carpentry Workshop right now. Here we work on fantasy coffins. Fantasy coffins are made for uh, people based on profession. And then it's to show honor to the family. Fantasy coffins were started by my grandfather, Seth Kanikwe. He started it in the year 1960. I wasn't born by then. So his first coffin was an aeroplane for my grandmother. When she passed away, he took it as an opportunity to build an aeroplane for her. My grandmother wanted to be in an aeroplane, but I never had the chance to be in one. So he took it as an opportunity and then built an aeroplane for her to fly after life. Then later on, his friend also passed away. His friend has a, a car, Mercedes-Benz, which he loved so much. Those days, Mercedes-Benz was very expensive, and it's now expensive. So he built a, a coffin in the shape of Mercedes-Benz for him. Hi. Then it ended up as a business along the coastal area. So I started working with my father when I was in prime, uh, JHS. So it has been like that till now. When a person dies, the body is not, be, is not going to be thrown away or it's not going to be burnt, but it will be buried. And it will be buried with the coffin. Mine, mine is to give the person a humble, with a uh, humble uh, funeral or for the family to show a uh, honor to the corpse. Mm -hmm. That's my mentality. Mm. I have no mentality about friends talking about me making coffins for someone, always praying for someone to die before I eat. There is nothing like that. Mine is to show honor to the, the loved one. The first one I made was a stool for a chi, one of the chiefs in the um, central region. But I don't know the place, particular, particular place, but I made it for him. Uh -huh. oh, my first coffin was somehow very difficult. It was very difficult. First time doing it, you have to take your time. It's very difficult. When you make a mistake, you have to change it again and then restart everything again. When you get a request, you have to do, draw a sketch. Draw a sketch. After drawing the sketch, you get the wood and then cut them into the sizes you want or the sizes you can get what you want from it. And then you start building it. Then later on, you do the planing. After the planing, you do some paperwork and then paint then after you are done with the painting then you do the filler work again after the filler work 
then you sandpaper after the sandpapering then you do another painting again before maybe you get to where you want to be who are the kind of people that request for fantasy it depends on what the family do you really want but most of the times we go with the uh, bedford because the Bedford is uh, an old car and then the drivers are old so this is a time they are dying more than more than the, <laughs> the normal ones <laughs> so we go with the Bedford now then it changes maybe to go to the chicken and then for our old mothers have you thought of the coffin you will be buried in? Yes. Tell us about it. Oh, I'll be buried in uh, a plane. An aeroplane? Not aeroplane. The carpenter's plane. What does it look like? Tell us about it. Oh, I think it's a two way in which the carpenter's using plane in, and then maybe the hammer will also be good. So what does chicken symbolize? Oh, uh, the chicken. I The chicken uh, takes good care of the children and gives birth to a lot of children too. That's how, that's what it signifies. Uh -huh. So who's buried in a chicken? Yeah, yeah. Who's buried in a chicken? A, a, a woman. What's the most shocking coffin request you've ever had? Something like the crocodile. Okay. It was made for a priest in the Votal region. Uh -huh. We also know in Africa we believe in animals. And then, and then the animal in which the priest worships, that's what he will be buried in. Something like the eagle, the priest who, if the priest believes in an eagle or worships an eagle, he will be buried in an eagle. Oh, you're, you're not talking about church priests, you're talking about high priests. Native priests. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. So for me, a journalist, if I die, what do I get buried in? Okay, maybe a microphone will be okay, or maybe a camera. Uh-huh. Interesting. How much would it cost me or my family, because I'll be dead? Oh, roughly about 4,000 Ghana cities. <laughs> of our vlog today thank you so much for tuning in if you like this kind of video give this video a thumbs up like don't forget to subscribe and tell me what you should try next adios guys